Outbreak is an expansive mode that features a big range map crossed with old school zombies that everybody knows and loves. Outbreak is a very unique experience and one that is often very overlooked. Outbreak has plenty of content within it and they even added content that is now within Cold War, sort of a staple if you will. It's a very simple yet fun experience and the general public can get behind. And even if this is your first time playing COD Zombies, technically, it's the best time. It's the easiest and best way for you to hop in the mode and test the water with your toes. This map is very simple, loot based, sort of like Warzone. You know, just collect loot, kill enemies, you know, hop around. Just a little bit different. So if you do like Warzone or multiplayer, technically this is the best time to get into the mode. And another realistic thing too, technically you have to have multiplayer downloaded to even play the mode, which is even crazier to think because, I mean, technically it, it's zombies, but realistically, it's on multiplayer maps, which, I mean, it's cool, but, you know, pretty, pretty weird to think. But this experience is round-based, yet it's really not at the same time. And Outbreak, players are allowed to move at their own pace, unlike your traditional zombies round-based maps. In the traditional, you know, round-based zombies map, you have specific zombie spawns. Eventually, after a while, they sort of run out. The round flips. In this, constant zombies are spawning. And you don't really have to worry because you can move at your own place. Realistically, you can complete a round in 5 minutes or 1 in 30 minutes. It's all based upon the player. But I'm not the biggest Outbreak fan, I'm going to be honest. But you have to learn to say this is our DLC too. And an even harder pill to swallow, this is more content than your regular DLC 2 map. Look, I said it, I'm not the biggest fan, but we have to look at the facts, okay? Outbreak has brought in a lot, and in my opinion, I think we should learn to appreciate it more. This, this mode is a fantastic mode, and one that everyone can get behind. Like I said before, Outbreak isn't your regular zombies experience. This mode allows for a variety of gameplay changes, and often ones that some people aren't giant fans of. To begin with, this kind of experience allows the player to traverse an open giant map like I said before, but yet it has different changes. In this experience, you're surrounded by the dark ether and the dark ether events within the map. In a typical zombies experience traditional map, you don't have these sort of events. Rather, you have Easter egg steps and or random Easter eggs. Within this though, you are allowed to complete certain events around the world, and there's seven of them by the way, and you can traverse through them each and individually, each one having their own different taste if you will. Like this one, I'm sitting here clearing a, you know, a boss zombie. Others, you're allowed to sit there and collect crystals to upgrade your weapons, which normally takes absolutely forever, which honestly, I am so happy that I changed it up. There's also a golden chest that you can traverse through many many opportunities for you to upgrade and sort of change the gameplay as you normally would in a regular experience you're grinding points salvage trying to go for the long term but in this you can really if you wanted to get everything set up by round two which the one i'm on right now i have a purple weapon which if you really think about it i mean technically round two on outbreak is about i don't know around 12 15 somewhere around there this weapon does have a lot, I mean a lot of gameplay changes that often, I don't know, I feel in my personal opinion that not many people are fans of. It does kind of take away the grinding experience, but it allows for you to have more fun. Within the experiences in Outbreak, you are allowed to sort of play with your own sort of play style, which is really nice. Slow players are allowed to be slow, fast players are allowed to be fast. This mode is a really fun experience with friends, and often it feels like those old chaotic maps like 5 and or Shangri-La. I think it adds a lot difference to the mode, and a lot of people may like it, some others may not. It's honestly kind of a preference kind of thing within Outbreak, but it's pretty cool. You, you can gain a lot of rewards, you can do a lot of things as well. That's what's really the great thing about Outbreak that kind of separates it from a normal traditional zombies experience. Within normal, you know, zombies experiences, you either do the Easter egg, go for high rounds, play with friends, you know, you're just sort of a normal kind of thing. And this, you're allowed to, you know, change gameplay. Every sort of play style can fit within Outbreak. You can get up close, personal, snipe, anything realistically. It's sort of like multiplayer, any map, 
you know, some guns might be better, but if you really think about it, you can use any weapon on any map in any kind of mode. But with zombies, typically you're running around with like, say, a shotgun, an SMG. But in this, it allows you to use assault rifles, sniper rifles, hell, even RPGs. It makes the experience of zombies in a whole, not just Outbreak, much better. At least how I take it. But not a lot of people think about that. And honestly, it makes me kind of worried for Outbreak. Because this mode, let's be honest, it's probably over for it as of right now. They're cranking out Mauer to Toten in a couple days. And, well, this experience brought us two DLCs within about a map's time, I think. It took about five months to crank this mode out. But you do have two DLCs, seven giant maps, and it carries through the Cold War experience, which is actually, in my personal opinion, I think it's actually really cool that they did that. Rather than just make it a round base experience that continues the story, it changes it up and it makes you play a different mode that they really did work hard on. And honestly, I think it's, it's a great way to expand it. There's tons and tons of intel in this mode. And although it may not be for everybody, it still adds content. And regardless if you like it or not, I mean, content is content. Let's be honest with ourselves here. The great thing about this mode is you can actually feel sort of powerful in Cold War. The problem with Cold War in general, at least in my opinion, I don't feel very powerful within it. I feel like often zombies are too strong for my weapons, even though Treyarch promised to just have strong weapons. And it kind of fell flat, which is something that's not very fun. Outbreak offers a lot, and let's be honest, having chests, that is... Sort of a ripoff of Warzone, but I think it's a fair way in order to earn, say, Salvage, which is really hard in a regular Zombies map, which, honestly, I don't like. I feel like they should just add a little bit more. Like, say, have a double Salvage drop, or just all around increase the drop rate of actual Salvage. Why I bring this up, you may ask. The Salvage in this game is basically your essential key in order to survive. Let's be honest. Points, they're useful. Realistically, you're using them mainly for Pack-a-Punch and or perks when you down. Salvage adds that different aspect to Cold War Zombies, which we all know. Honestly, I'm a fan of it. Just the thing I don't like about it is how rare it can be, especially with high-grade Salvage. It, it, it can be kind of a really, like, doozy just to get salvage especially when it's really essential between the rounds 20 to 30 in order to get your gun to legendary which is absolutely essential if you want to live some people just spend the mystery box which is totally fine but for those people who like to grind the weapon that they start with it really does add sort of you know a bad twist to it but with outbreak on the other hand you're able to grind earn chests kill high value targets go through the world events just to earn salvage which is actually really really cool Plus, you can also earn ether wrench tools through the events as well, which also increases how fast you actually progress through the mode, which is really good, at least in my opinion, especially if you're one of those high round players. This is a really, really cool feature in my opinion. I feel like they should add sort of more things like this in a regular round based map. Maybe not like the whole world events thing, but maybe like a cool easter egg you can do to unlock a world event that gives you a dark wrench tool that is really cool in my opinion or at least would be cool and the great thing about this mode also is in order to progress through the rounds it's not your just traditional run and gun you know kill kind of experience you have to complete attended world events rather than optional world events the great thing about these things are they add gameplay and a twist to gameplay as well tons of high value targets jump in like mimics manglers you know, all that sort of nonsense, panzers, all of that. It really throws you off and can get in the way. And often, sometimes they can down you. When in the lower rounds, they can be very strong. But if you really stick to your kind of weapons and upgrade them while you can, they're, they're not too hard and make the experience for zombies a lot more fun. Cold War Zombies has this issue within sort of like the 30s to 40s where zombies start to get really, really buff and they're often bullet sponges in this mode i'm able to just tear and shred and melt through them like butter and i think that's how they ex wanted the outbreak experience to go which honestly i love i love when my weapons kill i love when the mode's fun hell even if i'm doing sort of the same thing seven times in a row it's not too bad because 
at least for me, I don't grind to round 30 on Outbreak. I mean, I play it every once in a while with some friends. It doesn't get overplayed as much like as it used to. They updated the mode, you know, added more Easter eggs, like I said, and it adds more replayability to the mode, which is really nice because obviously in Cold War Zombies, the replayability is kind of meh. I mean, you have two maps. One of them is kind of a hash remake. The other is all right. Honestly, Firebase has grown on me, but hey, this is not about Firebase. This is about Outbreak. But speaking of Outbreak, the cool thing about this mode, it quickly picks up off of Firebase C. Fans were wondering where does it go from here after Firebase C, after the tearing down of that giant Swa Valley in, I think, Vietnam. People were wondering what's going to happen. Outbreak jumped on the case. It took a while for the first easter egg to be published, but it quickly helped and developed the story of Cold War and sort of put a footing ground to it. Often, after D-Machine and Firebase E, I was just absolutely just, where? what is the story, you know? Outbreak, at least for me, kind of put in perspective as to how the story is going to play, what's going on. I thought it was really cool, especially with the ending of the second Outbreak Easter egg, how it kind of shows like the missile shooting up, you know. I actually know that was the first one, my bad. But, I mean, let's be honest, the second one was really cool. It showed like Raptor 1 being taken down, people were being taken away, prisoners, often what happens within, you know, the Soviet Union. Please don't come for me, by the way. The DLC 1, off, you know, you're shown you're gonna have to save the world from like, not the world, but the USA from nuclear weapons that were going through in the Cold War. You know, people were trying to nuke each other and all that. Which, one of the things I really do like about the Outbreak Easter Egg, it kind of ties in with history and how the Soviet Union actually did try those things and the USA tried to do those things as well. Which, I like that about this story. It, it stuck to what it, its guns were. This mode, when you started out, you know, back in August, I think, when we got the trailer for the stupid map, we were talking about the Cold War, but this mode actually stuck with it. That's that's one thing I really do like about that. And I feel like it really shined through with Outbreak. I actually understand where the story is going, like I said before, which I think is really nice in my opinion, at least. We'll definitely see where things are gonna go after Mauer Katoen, but the reason why I'm posting this is because, well, the mode's basically over, okay? I'll let, let's be honest with ourselves. I don't think they're gonna publish too much more after this. I mean, we have two more perks in the you know, machine, I think it is, the Wonder Sphere. But those are probably gonna be Zombie Chronicles maps, so honestly, this mode's a really great mode. I just feel like it's a little underrated as to my little rant here. But tell me if you like it or not in the comments, it really helps out. But if you haven't already, you know, leave a like, subscribe, but look cool mo nonsense. If you made this far, you deserve a cookie. I love you. Everyone who watches these things, really appreciate it. I've been getting a ton of support. But I love Outbreak, what can I say? I mean, it, it's a pretty great mode, but I mean, if you, you know, haven't already, leave a like, please. I'm not going to ask again. I died. I literally died, okay? See you guys in the next one. Have a wonderful day. See ya.